What's up, gamers? It is the Maple Warlock. Yes, the Maple Warlock. Coming at you again with another Appalachian Daily Report. It is a new week, a new dawn, and I'm feeling good. Uh, we got some new dailies. My camp isn't finished, won't load for some reason. There's a chemistry station missing, and there's a wall. There's a wall missing with a floating floating poster on it. Anyway, dailies today. We got complete the event collision course while wearing responder gear. That is easy. Collision course, of course, is the event that happens way up here at the Morgantown Airport. When you're running around into the back, it doesn't start usually till somebody goes and starts it. And, of course, responder gear is the responder gear, plus the pastor's vestments that I probably will be wearing when I do it. Uh, kill a gulper at the Gulper Lagoon, another easy one. If you can get to the Gulper Lagoon, which is, of course, way over here, just inside the Hoopadoo, whatever you call it, the mire. That's the place, the mire. Yeah, so yeah, Gulper Lagoon in the mire. They're always big meaty glowing ones when I go but you know I'm a, almost level 300 now so you know humble brag humble brag level up well and today we've got over 76 as always at the agriculture center in Flatwoods if you're under 10 formal wear which means power armor is probably on here too yep wielding a musical instrument being in Watoga at top of the world under 40 wearing an unstoppable outfit engaged in pvp well fed pick your poison do your thing you gotta kill six creatures in nuclear winter that's eh, not so bad. I would suggest if you're going to try to use a melee weapon because then you don't give your position away. Big brain. Take a camera picture of a player in responder gear at the Morgantown Airport, which can be done if you have some friends on while doing collision course. She's going to be there anyway. And take a camera picture of an alien using a 105mm lens well in a tinfoil hat. Ew. Ew. That one is... Uh, I don't think I've ever actually gotten that one done because I can never find Flatwoods monsters when I need one. I actually hardly ever see Flatwoods monsters. I see Mothmen quite often, but I never see the Flatwoods monster. And I never see Mothmen when I need them either. But anyway, you know, go find a tinfoil hat. If you can't find a tinfoil hat, there's one... I think there's one in Fort Defiance. But there's also one that spawns in the frat houses now. There's a skeleton in the... Whatever, it's Sigma Pi or whatever, the party house. The, there's a skeleton in the corner on like the first floor that he's got a tinfoil hat on. Tinfoil hats are super hard to find now. You just gotta possibly server hop a bit at the fraternity to uh, get it to spawn in, but it's there. Weeklies have reset, so we got Claim the Workshop at Berkeley Springs, which is the one over here in the mire also. That's the Fisher site, sorry. Uh, Berkeley Springs is here, just outside of also Berkeley Springs and the Sp Berkeley Springs station where Pervy is. Uh, just down the hill from Toxic Larry's Meet and Go. Up the hill from Harper's Ferry. But yeah, it's Berkeley Springs. Claim it. Not hard. Kill legendary creatures. Five. Doesn't have to be any specific ones. Just any five legendary creatures during the week. So that's probably going to be pretty easy. Uh, the medical malpractice is back for the survival mode weapon. Because these started to repeat. Deal critical hits on to enemies. A hundred and... Jesus. So yeah, get them Vats crits rolling. And uh, you can earn yourself a medical malpractice. I can't remember what the hell that thing is, but yeah. I think it's a medic something or other, if, if you're into that. Uh, take camera pictures of different types of Scorch creatures. And then, oh, geez. We need seven, and we've got three, four, five. And there is only seven. Damn. Uh, I believe when I've done this one before, the Scorch ticks are a pain in the ass to actually find. Some of the other ones aren't so bad. Oh, I don't like that one. Take camera picture of wildlife in the Toxic Valley. That one's pretty easy. Toxic Valley is not a super hard place. So, you know, running around with your camera, taking pictures of basically everything. And, you know, there's 30 atoms. And use photo mode at major bridges. Haven't seen this one in a while. I think the first week I ever played the game, this was one of the challenges. And I just kind of was like, what? Where are all these places? Uh, the rope bridge in the wilderness. The rope bridges in the treehouse village. The rope bridge in Somerville Dam. Sky bridge in Watoga. Sky bridge in the Red Rocket Megastop. I don't actually know where some of these places are. Like, I don't get it. Sky... Oh, 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 oh. I know. I know what they mean. Okay, yeah. There's a bridge. It's like that walkway that goes from the main station over to the... Yeah. Bridge in Point Pleasant. That one's pretty easy. It's the big wrecked one on the edge of town. The bridge at Mount Blair. There's a bridge at Mount Blair. Uh, rope bridge at Hunter's Ridge. Yes, I, I know that one too. The bridge at Harper's Ferry. Oh, 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 yeah. There's a huge bridge just outside Harper's Ferry. Right, right, right. The New Gorge Bridge near Flatwoods. The bridge in Charleston. The bridge in Camp Venture. The Camden Park Bridge. Yeah, the Bolton Green Bridge. Big Ben Tunnel West Bridge and the Rope Bridge in Beckley. You only need five of them. There's like a huge list of them. So go take some pictures around bridges and that'll be that. So I'm a little early for the atomic shop. So we're going to pull a uh, trick of editing and magically make it 
What do we need? Make make it 20 minutes from now. And so, peering into the atomic shop this week, uh, unless it's reset better for other people, but no nothing's changed. It's the same thing as last week. We've got another six days on the Trailblazer bundle, being the combination of the Revolutionary and Survivalist bundles. Uh, they did add a free Free States player icon, so yay, I guess. You know, Green Thumb is still Green Thumb. Six more days on Liberty Prime. <laughs> Oh yeah! We still got Open for Business, which is, you know, they brought back the Coal Dust and the Silver Excavator, along with a bunch of other, like, billboards and signs and stuff. Uh, the Stars and Stripes from 4th of July is still here with all of its patriotic glory. And the Cult of the Mothman stuff that, you know, I, I own a couple pieces of it. But I really want those headpieces. Anyway, they'll be on sale someday, I'm sure. And we got no sales tab this week. So that's all that happened. They took the sales tab out. And they added a free Free States icon is all I can really see. And I'm not actually logged in right now because my game crashed a second ago when I tried to get on my power armor. Whatever. We're going to go in and try to find some bridges. And I uh, may make a video later this week to try to outline all the various bridges for the weekly challenge. Because that one so far, I uh, just a lot of bridges in Harper's Ferry. And I was trying one and it wasn't working. So we're going to, uh, yeah, maybe have to do a special little report on just the bridges of Appalachia. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the video today. Good luck with your challenges, and I will see you all tomorrow for another exciting edition of the Appalachian Daily Report. Be good. Don't cheat. Cheers. A massive thank you to Texas Weeds for supporting the channel. It, it, it makes my black little heart all a flutter to know that at least one person enjoys what I do. Thank you. Thank you so much, my dude. Keep on keeping on. Cheers.